yeah, no, they're perfect. They're perfect fits. Okay. Back into this vlog. welcome to my first youtube vlog video this is actually my third or fourth attempt but the amazing man that i'm going to marry this fall if everything goes accordingly meaning us actually doing the work and finding a wedding which i'm very lax about but we don't get married regardless if we have to just pull up to city hall it's happening so anywho he bought me this lovely camera i'm using currently this sony zve 10 he bought it for me for valentine's day totally unexpected something i was gonna already gonna purchase myself but i had just bought a laptop you know i'm switching up with my phone so it was a couple of expenses that i had that i was like i'm gonna just wait a little while but i was using another camera and that just was not breaking for me i i said this is my third or fourth attempt so those other attempts on the other camera one came out perfectly i just didn't have it together i played the footage back i was like no Second one, it came out blurry and I, I didn't realize that it was blurry. The whole time I recorded, I changed, did a bunch of stuff. Terrible. Third attempt, I don't remember, but we did it for one of my express events when I did my in-store styling events. And half my pictures and videos came out blurry. So I was like, no. We're going to have to either do it on my phone or postpone. And then this happened. So this is my attempt my package is finally here, so don't mind me. I'm looking at him on my ring camera. Even though, like, where's he going? Because it looks like he's in front of my garbage can instead of putting it in my gate. So I'm probably going to run out real quick to go get that package. But anyways, this vlog is about transitioning your wardrobe more so into that grown woman vibe. I get a lot of questions about this for the past several years. I mean, since I was younger, even... Like, you know, when I stepped out of college, I got a lot of questions about, oh, you dress a certain way, you dress like a grown woman. Like, how? I don't even know how to dress that way. Like, I don't, I feel like I'm still dressing like I'm in high school or college. It's super simple. Realistically, you need about four or five items that are in your wardrobe to really help you transition. Because you can add one of these items to your outfit and it'll make it look totally different. So I'm really here just to share five. Grown woman wardrobe essentials. So let's get into it. Um, so I ran downstairs real quick to get my package. Do you want to see what it is? Because I'm so excited about this. Huge. Really don't want to put it on my leg because he left it outside on the dirt. I mean, I'm in the dirt, like in front of my house. Literally, when you walk in my house, there's like a like a, a screen door, basically, that and then there's at least five feet before you get to my main door. So it's in between section where I have a welcome mat and everything. You leave my packages in there. Why are you leaving two big giant packages in front of my door? So if somebody wants to walk past and take it, they could. But that's beside the point. But it's... Kochi. Um, so I saw these, it's a little collab. They've done a collab before with Disney. And if you know me, you know that I love Mickey Mouse. So, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, you know. The mouses. Not real life mouses, though. Actually, this is much cuter in person. Anywho. These slides. Aren't they so cute i'm actually gonna wear them for the rest of the video okay no they're perfect they're perfect fits okay back into this vlog so i was saying there's at least four or five items that you should have in your wardrobe in order for it to kind of give that grown woman vibe 
think I should start from order of imp least important to the order of most importance. Because I think number five, you know, it's hit or miss. Not really. I'm, I'm, tr I'm actually trying to think of what my five are. I didn't, I didn't prepare for this. I just wanted to get started with the camera. I know I want to use it. I already know some of the items that I consider, yes. But those are more, it's set, those are more strong that you need them. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the item that most people don't use a lot. Some people do, they swear by them, and there's people who really just don't mess with them at all. And it's a small, it's, it, it's an accessory. So most people don't think about this item when you are shopping because in some in some cases it's not needed in other cases it adds to some a little something extra to the outfit it makes the outfit stand out or in some cases you kind of need it because you're wearing a certain type of pant and you need this in order to for it to be comfortable and for the look to be pulled off and what is that ladies and gentlemen or ladies because this is specifically for women that is a belt a belt it's something that you know some people be like oh, I never wear belts but as a grown woman you should definitely have a belt in your collection this belt is from and other stories it's a black belt with croc detailing gold buckle it's one of my favorite belts it's plus it's so easy to use it's a black belt that's pretty much like a staple a black belt and a brown belt. That's what you need more than anything. Then you can get into colors or white. White would probably be next. Really more so for like spring. If you can do it, you know, get a reversible belt because then you don't have to worry about. This is my coach belt. You don't have to worry about buying two different belts. But you should definitely start off with a black belt. Now, depending on if it's a gold or silver buckle, that's up to you. Depend. Uh, whatever you wear more in your wardrobe, I'll lean towards. I'm a goldie. I love gold. So gold probably be my... I wear gold jewelry, so most often times I wear gold jewelry. I switch it up sometimes, but I have a, a silver buckle belt as well. But as you get into it and as you see the need to put, put a belt in your wardrobe, then you can start adding to your belt collection. Belts are really not that expensive. I mean, if you want a, a decent size, a decent belt... You can go to Macy's and get a belt on sale. You can go to H&M and get a belt. They have good belts. I have a belt from H&M. I have a coach belt just because I wanted to see Camille. See? So that's the only reason why I have that. And the end the stories belt I got for my job because they tend to give away um, things after photo shoots. So they always tell the employees help themselves. <sighs> Benefits of working at my company. So the next item would have to be I said I'm gonna do five items right oh. um five items so I would say the next item is going to be a dress shirt button up shirt now I have to adjust the camera but the next item yes it's gonna be a dress shirt now I have Quite a lot of dress shirts. Quite. I could have way more than this. I purge. I purge my closet every so often, but these are the ones that I wear most often times. Now, of course, you can go with something simple, like this black one. I would do this in white, but I tend to go for more oversized shirts. I love an oversized shirt, so I rarely wear this. But this is something. This is a closet, a closet essential all around. You could get away with this in jeans. You could get away with this with trousers, a skirt, any occasion. You can do something easy with a black button up or a white, just standard fit um, dress shirt. Now this is actually a Portofino shirt from Express. Express is known for their more women, grown women kind of vibes, workwear. So these portfolio shirts are essentials and one of the most popular items that you can find in Express. You can find them in all different colors and prints. So definitely check them out. 
if you want just a nice button up shirt. Now, like I said, I tend to go for more oversized shirts, which I love. I'm trying to find one. I have like a million just plain white shirts because I you can never go wrong with a white button up, especially an oversized one. Let me put y'all down a little bit. This shirt is a little wrinkled, but I don't know if y'all can really notice that on camera. Did I just cut my head out? I think I did. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, yes. This is an oversized button up. This is a large, and I got this from H&M. You can find an oversized button up almost anywhere. But these are transcendent. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, you can always get away with them. They pair with well with a lot of different items. And it's definitely just a closet staple, but we're adding this to the grown woman closet staple that you should have in your closet. You should really have a white and a black one, but, you know, you can start off with white. Like, I showed you the black one. Unless you're an old black girl, then start off with black. But white is not that much of a standout that, you know, I even have a leather one, but it's not an essential. That's something that you just want me want to add. But I have white, gray, I have some stripes. You know, once you get into the spring, you may want to do stripes. You can always find blue and white stripes. I've been seeing pink and white lately, which I'm very tempted. Black and white stripes. I have a pink one. I have several buttons down, but that's not why we're here. So definitely button downs. I'll probably put something on the side here just showing how I would pair those looks. This is a new blog. This is a new thing for me, so just bear with me. I'm trying to play with different ideas. So definitely give any advice or comments what you liked, what you didn't like down in the comments below. Oh, and I forgot to say, subscribe please to my channel. I'm a newbie, so I'm just trying to get my feet wet before, you know, but I do plan on producing content, so definitely follow your girl if you like my Instagram, if you like my style, if you value my advice, if you think I give good advice, or if you just, you know, you, you vibe with me, just follow me, please. Subscribe, please and thank you. Comment, all that good stuff, share, definitely share. Um, so the next item I would have to say is going to be pants and when I say pants I don't mean jeans I mean like trousers dress pants we, we used to call them a pair of dress pants and this is just an easy where to of an easy place to start all black again you can never go wrong with all black now these are editor pants from Express these are high rise and they are straight fit i got them in a long a 10 long because they're ankle cut um so i just wanted them to be a little longer i don't ankle jeans pants you can't really wear year round so i just got them a little longer and they're the perfect fit i'll have myself wearing them here um but they're great i have these pants in this straight cut i also have them in a flare the flare is fire it has a little slit to it. You can dress these up also and casual them down. Now, ugh, don't mind my knees. Um, if you really want to try to, um, sorry for the ums. If you really want to go, you could also, if you, if you hesitate because you're like, oh, I don't want to look too dressy. Express always ha has these trousers that have cargo, which cargo is a big trend this year, 2023, 2022. These have like little pockets on the side, giving that cargo vibe, but they're still, you know, that dressy trouser material. And you could wear this. I have these in cream and I have these in this olive green color. Great, both great choices. White, I don't know, some people are scared to wear white outside of, you know, the summer, spring, summer, because of the whole 
no right after Labor Day thing, but there's such a thing as winter white, so you can get by. But these are a great option. Um, and then I also have, like, you know, if you're going more dressy, even though I wear this to stuff to work, I wear it to brunch. Like a oversized, not oversized, a wide leg trouser. In like a satin is a such a vibe such a vibe such a vibe they're so comfortable when the season comes you'll just be like thanking me because they're so easy and breezy you can wear them with a lot of items pair them with that oversized button down pair them with that regular button up option you could wear this with a tee and a cute little jacket halter top crop top Girl, just put your own little spin on it. Like, again, I'll have me wearing these items just so you can see. I don't feel that well, so that's why I'm not changing right now because otherwise I would. Going forth, I probably will. Um, so what did we go over so far? We did... We did belt. We did button up. We did trousers, dress pants, and I'm not in the camera. So what's left? I said I was gonna do five items. Oh yes, I remember what my five items could be. So next item, and I think this is pretty much like the number one item, but I'm kind of working my way in out. So I'm gonna make this my fourth item. And that is, you probably have a great idea, or maybe you don't, but it is a, sorry about the fall. Blazer. Now this one's a little different. I don't know why I actually picked this one out. Let's try something else. But this is a cute one. It doesn't have the collar, it doesn't have the lapel. It's um, giving more of a clean cut shirt look. I got this from H&M last, last spring. Um, but let's show you something new. Sorry, my chair is like in the way. This big giant coach box is really in the way. This is actually a suit that I have, a full suit that I have. But since we're going to the spring, I might as well show you a bright color. This blazer, let me take the pants out of the way. So cute. I could throw this on. But you need a blazer. As a grown woman, you have to have a blazer. First of all, as a grown woman, you about you about getting your checks, you about getting your money, you about getting to that bag. So, number one look in business would be a blazer. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing this blazer right now with some uh, sweatshorts and a crop top tee. And this actually is a little bit of a vibe, low key. And then if you can see my Mickey Mouse slides, <laughs> Girl, I'm about to wear this look, okay? Once it gets warm, I'm about to pull this off. I could switch these out for some black ones. But it's cute. But you see, do you see what the blazer just did to my look? That's exactly why it's an essential for a grown woman. Because blazers literally just seal the deal. Seal the deal. Now, this particular blazer that I'm wearing, since she's in the back, there's an um, adjustable piece here that kind of lets it out or cinches it in depending on how you like it so you can get a more of a tailored look. This is all, this is a size medium. I got this from Express. This also comes in beige and it comes in black. I believe it might come in white now as well and it also comes in like a um, like a, a dusty rose kind of color. Petal I think it's called online. But a blazer like why don't you have a blazer? But 
if you're gonna start off with a blazer, obviously, you're gonna go for something a neutral. You want a white blazer. White blazers are essential, especially going into the, the seasons we're in, or black, of course. You never go wrong with a black blazer. This is very giving, very much interview, or you know, another way that we wear blazers. This is also a boyfriend fit blazer, so it has an oversized look. So this is goes really cute if you want to throw it on top of a dress or wear it as a jacket, even. But blazers are. I can't even talk enough about blazers. Like, blazers is really the number one item that you should have as a grown woman. Because you go on your interviews, you get secure in those jobs. Then you also just want to look like, I know what I'm doing. That's what a blazer is going to do for your wardrobe. It's also going to just elevate your appearance to where it exactly needs to be. Okay, trust me. But as you can see, I would definitely start off with white or black. Then you could go into your colors, see what you wear most often, or if you are hesitant on color, definitely stick in your neutral families. You could do brown. Um, favorite colors, I do. I saw, I think I had light blue. This is a cute brown one that I have. It's a crop blazer, also it's from Express. So cute. Express has a lot of blazers, clearly, because I have a bunch. I also get a lot of blazers from H&M. You know, people get Zara blazers. I don't think I have any Zara blazers. I have one Zara blazer. But Zara means Zara a little, like, hmm, sometimes. Because Zara be playing with me, so. As far as sizing sometimes. But it's really in the bottoms. But, um, the quality I express is great. H&M has stepped up their quality in their blazers, but I do find their blazers to be a little thin, too. So they're good for the hot month, obviously. Um... So let me not bore y'all too much. So the last item is going to be a trench coat. What? A trench coat? Yes, a trench coat. Wait, I'm lying. It's not a trench coat. Scratch that. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave a trench coat for something else. You don't need to be. You don't need. But you need a nice coat. You need a nice coat. I'm sorry, but because you can have a whole look together and let's leave trench coat for the bonus, but you really just need a nice coat. You can't have a whole look together, bomb from head to toe, and then you throw the jacket on and it's like, you got to invest in a nice jacket. And trench coats are really kind of good items to wear year round you can layer them really well granted you're not going to wear a trench coat in a dead winter when it's snow on the ground but some people do because they're good for wet weather but if you you would have to obviously layer up but spring summer fall summer because it's too hot but spring and fall the top like fashion seasons you need a french you need a trench coat i have a couple of trench coats different colors I have like a really dark olive one, I have a blue one, I have a suede brown one. You have your options, but let me just show you. You obviously, most people go for khaki color, which I don't, I had one, but I had to get rid of it. So I haven't replaced it yet, but I love this trench coat. Got this from Macy's, it's Ralph Lauren. I've had it for a few years now, but I believe it's still sold. I could find it and link it. But it's such a nice color because it's like, it's dark where I can get away with wearing it with a lot of things. But then it's still not black. It's where it's like a, it's like, like a brown. It's actually dark brown, but it gives olive sometimes. But it's very cute. I love it. And it comes with the belt. So, all of them come with the belt for the most part. I'm, I don't think I would get a trench without a belt. Even if I decide not to wear the belt, that's my option. I like to have the option to have it. But that's the bonus item because I completely forgot when I had this all outlined in my head. Granted, I'm writing everything down next time. You need a black shoe. You need a black dress shoe as a grown woman. You need a black dress shoe. These I got a few months ago. They're still sold. They're Mark Fisher. Uh, Mark Fisher super love all his shoes completely. It's a cute. Now, I'm not a heel girl. 
But I have heels. You have to have heels as a grown woman. I mean, if you're dressing up, you wear heels. I mean, I mean, unless you're flat, but I had an incident when I was younger and I was wearing all flat shoes and that helped that caused me to develop a slightly flat foot and I was having a lot of pain in my feet so I snicks flats completely so the lowest kind of heel you ever find me in if it's a shoe is maybe two inches but that's why I like block heels so you'll see with my boots you'll always see me with a block heel Rarely, I mean, unless I'm going somewhere like a date night, will I be wearing any of the sandals? Block heel. Block heel. Girl, I'm all about comfort, so I'm sorry if you was looking for heels. These are the most comfortable heels I have, but again, they're not like super high. These Mark Fisher, these other ones are uh, much taller. Not much, I would say it's about an inch, but these are also Mark Fisher. Most comfortable sandals ever. If I have them, I'm going to link them because these are giving that Bottega thing that everybody loves, but cuter to me because I, I hate the closed toe. Like, why would you want your closed toes in in this little sack? It's weird, but these are so comfortable because I danced all night long at my mom's retirement party. But anyway, back to what I was saying. A black pump, black shoe, depending on what your flavor is, you need a black dress shoe because you need to be prepared. Those interviews... Yes, black pump dress shoe, and you want it to be a nice shoe. You want it something to be you like. This is a pointy toe. I always like a patent. I have, do I, I don't have any matte black shoes. I have these sateen ones, but they have their, bedazz, they're like jewels. So, but they're not even, they're not even, there's like a, it's like a velvety kind of, not velvety, like a sateen material. Again, these are heels, but you know, occasionally your girl goes out, so I gotta have something, you know. <laughs> but I have slides that are blocks. But another thing, you know, if you're more of a loafer girl or you like more of a flat comfort vibe, wear your dress pants, loafers. These are also, oh no, these are Sam Edelman. Love these shoes. I get so many compliments on them, they're great. But you know. So it depends on my vibe. If I'm going out, if I'm going somewhere where I'm dressing up and putting a dress on, I'm going to wear these. I wear these more so I'm going to work. I want to be comfortable. I'm walking a lot. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing trousers. I'm wearing ankle sh uh, pants. These are them. But, you know, if you wear old loafers all the time, do your thing. But those are like my flats. Loafers. Those are flats for me. Cause I, I just can't do regular like flat flat shoes like I can't I can't do it but black shoes needed okay so that's all guys for this vlog I hope you enjoyed it I know it's all over the place I'll promise I'll be more structured and organized next time but I really just wanted to start recording so I can test out this camera so I'm like I'm posting regardless but everything that I said was valid. Those are definitely the five or six <laughs> essentials you need in your wardrobe. The trench coat was a bonus. It's not really, it doesn't really have to be a trench coat. It just has to be a nice coat. Something that when you're, when you're looking nice, something to go along with that look. Something to just completely like, you see somebody walking down the street, they have a nice coat on, then the shirt, the, the jacket flies open, you see the outfit under. Come on. Come on, y'all see the vision. So that's just the bonus. You can work on getting the other items first before you get a nice coat, especially since we're slowly creeping into those warmer months. But you want to like a nice long, preferably a long coat. It can be like something down here, but it's something for when you have a dressed up look, you need a nice coat to put on when you're going out. You don't want to go throw on something that's like, okay, you can see they don't invest in their outerwear. <laughs> Or like, um, it'll, it'll match. You want it to match. So, thank you for joining me for this vlog. Hope you liked it. So, if you did, definitely subscribe. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. And all that good stuff. I'll check y'all later.